Hello guys and welcome to my loadouts of 2019 Even though this is being recorded and edited on in 2020 So happy new year I hope, I hope it's your year guys <laughs> But uh, yeah we're here on Team Fortress 2's loadout page I'm just going to go through my loadouts which I used in 2019 These haven't changed since 2019 so no need to worry Let's see how it changes next year so, obviously start with Scout. This is what he's looking like this year. This is my main Scout loadout. If we just put it next to the one I used last year. Huh. Yeah, I went back to the prehistoric pullover and I added the bread by to try and unbox in an unboxing video. It's a strange. Final case. What are we going to get? Another bread biter. It's a strange. Hell yeah. We, we out here. Look at that. It's lovely. I just kind of do like it. Do looking kind of funny with the the teeth here and then the teeth on this. Then my second loadout, which used to be my main loadout. I think it looks pretty similar to how it did last year. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. This is a loadout I don't really use, but if I want to play with play with the uh, babyface blaster, then I will. But yeah, this is uh, this is what I'll be rocking. Babyface blaster is actually kind of fun. I just haven't used it much. And I have a strange winger, which I was unaware that I had. So that's interesting. And then this is my MVM loadout. I, this hasn't changed a lot since last year, I don't think. I'm not really going to be changing my MVM loadouts unless they bring out a new cosmetic, which I really like the look of. And as with every MVM loadout, I try to have some sort of robotic themed hat. It might not be from the Robo collection, but it, I, I think it just fits. Which is why I'm using the, the robotic hats. And for this, we have Ye Oiled Baker Boy. Yep, this one has changed. I know this one has changed. That's, for, that's, a, that's a fact. So this is what we're rocking. Got an unusual, well-rounded rifleman, Terrawatt. I did get this from the Great Depression. The veteran's attire, and then the strange bread briar again. That was a com cosmetic that really came out of the blue for me. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did, but then I got a strange version. I was like, yo, we gotta use it, and it's actually kind of fucking cool. I mean, look at him. And this is my secondary loadout. I don't use this as much, but if I just want to go around having some... It's, this, it's, it's effectively the same loadout as the last one but with a festive sand cannon which I love and I wish I could get a strange version but for now I don't have one and this is what we'd be looking like We've got the cowboy hat from Gucci that's a that's an old town road reference for the macho man and the classified coif I might change this to the to the nuke because that's what it was originally but I do like the cowboy hat vibes so I might give it as the Gucci cowboy hat and then we got my road to hail zone loadout which i haven't done in a video one in a while so i'm definitely definitely going to be doing one of those but the the gaps between the amount of kills you need to get it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and soon it's just going to be ineffective for a video so we'll figure out something to do there but yep yeah, using the prehistoric pullover cold snap coat and the old father i believe yep yeah, this was one i managed to unlock from the end of the lineup date so that's why i got the early supporter tag which is very cool I do like the I do like the cosmetic as well. It's a very cool soldier coat. And then we've got my MVM loadout. Soldier Spark Plug, the Macho Man, and the Lumbricus Lid. Hell yeah. I don't like the eyebrows on it, but they're a small price to pay for such a cool hat with the holy hand grenades as well. <laughs> Just makes it even more better. So yeah, this is what I'd be rocking in MVM. Obviously if we're doing um bot bash, I believe it is. I just changed the banner for a banner that one of the soldiers isn't using to make it more effective, but yep. On to Pyro, this is my first loadout. I don't really use this loadout, which is why it, it, it do be looking kind of strange. This was actually my episode 4 of TF2 Roulette loadout, if you have seen that video. It was the Flog, the Panic Attack, and the Lolly Chop, which is what I'm rocking here. With the Pyro's Beanie, the Lunatex Leathers, and the Cute Suit. Quite a nice little loadout. I like the juxtaposition between like this innocent little hat and then these like biker uniform i guess i thought that's pretty cool and then this is um my s my second most used pyro loadout it's kind of like the vault tech kind of guy i do like the loadout we've got the fashionable reader's choice lovely strange another strange the fancy schmancy hot case the fancy schmancy hot case that is my that is, i think that's the favorite strange tag i think for a, a, a cosmetic i think fashionable with them Fancy schmancy them, and then a fashionable cotton head as well. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like a vault tech kind of meme. Or like a, a detective kind of guy. And then he's using a strange quack canvas flamethrower, my festive shotgun, which I love so much. And then the power jack to get that speed. And then this is my main pyro loadout. 
it has changed since last year. I, I know that much. Yes, I've done away with the cute suit in favour of the binoculars because I love that cosmetic so much. But yeah, we're rocking a legendary Dead of Night. My favourite strange cosmetic that I own. An unusual handyman's handle and then the binoculars, obviously, because they're, they're like the best cosmetic in the game. Then we're rocking my degreaser. Wow, I've hit I've hit 105,000 people. Amazing. Festive shotgun, obviously. And then the power jack. Look at that. Well, it's so cool. The power jack does change to either an Australian extinguisher, which I like to flex. Or a neon annihilator. And then this is my MVM loadout. This is the only one that doesn't have a specific robo cosmetic. And instead I went for more of a, a military kind of look. He reminds me of like a World War One. I get World War One vibes from him. I don't know why, because the mare mask is definitely not something from World War One, but I like the look of it anyway. I love that kind of style of mask. Dystopian S. Yep, we use the flog. My uh, all rise for Datloff flagitinator. The gas passer and the power jack. Again, power jack makes a lot of appearances on these loadouts because it just gives me speed. Then we've got the proof of purchase which I think is a very cool hat, and you get it if you buy the orange box, or if you bought TF2 before it went free to play. The fancy schmancy hot case again, and then the mare mask, because it just looks cool. Kind of like a dystopian enforcer kind of look. And for Demon Man, now I don't play this class as much. I did have a, like a stint la uh, last year, 2019, where I played it quite a bit. But yeah, this is my Demo Knight loadout. He does look like a full-ass knight, so I think that's pretty cool. But also can be changed to look like a samurai if I want to use the Zatoichi. Then we have uh, this guy. This fun lad. He was originally like a pirate loadout. But now he's the ham man. So like, still cool you know. The ham man. He gives steamed hams. Look at him. What a trustworthy fella. Then here's my main demo man loadout. Rocking that quack canvas lock and load. Strange, obviously. How many kills have I got? 37. I'm not that I'm not that good with a lock and load, not gonna lie. And then we've got the scarcely lethal quickie bomb launcher. I don't use that as much. And then I've got a frying pan. I think the quickie bomb launcher is my favourite of these sticky bomb launchers because of its rate of fire. And it has really spiky projectiles, which I find very cool. And then we've got the cool breeze, the summer shades, and the saxton. Look at this. What a cool looking man. And then we go to my MVM loadout. We'd be rocking this this kind of meme. I like to theme my MVM loadouts as they're like fighting robots. This also doesn't have a robo cosmetic, but I think the blast defense works in its in its uh, in its place. So we're using a butcher bird grenade launcher. I just un unboxed it and I was like, "Yo, that's actually pretty cool." So I'm just going to keep that. But I do have uh, a normal grenade launcher, so I prefer to use that. I used to have an autumn leaves one, but I got rid of it. Uh, we've got the Scottish Resistance, the achievement version, because you know I. I kill streaked it for some reason. And then we've got a strange islander. Very cool. And then we're using the blast blocker. Because it's like a fucking juggernaut heavy riot suit. So protect him from the robots. Blast defense to protect his skull. And then the double dog dare demo pants because I thought they fit with the loadout well. Heavy weapons guy. This is my primary heavy weapons guy loadout. He be rocking Mr. Cuddles. He be rocking the sandwich. He be rocking the gloves of running urgently. I don't like how they changed within the Drone Inferno where they just drain your health, but you do get it back, but I just thought that was a bit stupid. I preferred when you were marked for... was it marked for death, I believe? We've got the Hunter Heavy, the Jungle Booty, and then my first ever unusual... Thanks, Shiryuki-chan, or a Haunted Ghosts Pugilist. I forgot the name of that. <laughs> it's a Pugilist something. But yeah, this is how we'd be vibing. Really throwing off all kinds of vibes with this outfit, aren't we? We've got the Mr. Cuddles fest. We got the Mr. Cud. There. We got the Mr. Cuddles mini gun, and then I'm just wearing some like booty shorts. It's kind of strange, but that's how we be vibing. This is my secondary loadout. This was also used in the uh, Fat Scout video I did. This time we changed out the well run of rifleman for an unusual one, which I have on my soldier as well. We got the weight room roma, and then a genuine black bash supporter 2019. This is the first time I could support the black bash charity streams so it's the only one I have but I'm glad I did. And they've got the cardboard box Tomislav, a Soviet scattergun aka the family business I thought it was a cool name and then the fists of steel to you know reduce that damage we take. And this is my uh, Donald Trump loadout from uh, that time I was on 
the uh, wonky challenge with Pyro Joe. Lovely. <laughs> I'm just keeping this out as like a, a something I can look back and be like, wow, that's, that, that was my big break. And I'm, I'm very proud of it. So yeah, we'll be using the scarcely lethal Silver Bot Killer Minigun Mark II. Very cool. Soviet Scatter Gun, Russian Collusion Lamau, and then Make Two Foot Great Again sign. You've got the Coup Disaster, the Man of the House, and the Siberian Sophisticate to round off the Donald Trump loadout. And we want to make MVM loadout, which I like. I think he's pretty cool. So we're using the Saar Platinum, which I think that's a I think that's a JoJo reference. Uh, I don't watch JoJo, but the cosmetic is cool. Then we've got the Cuban Bristle Crisis. You know, he's looking like an odd lad. And then the Polar Bear, which I think all together makes a nice Russian man defending the world from robots loadout. Also, a lot of robot cosmetic. I realised when I said a Pyro is the only one, we've just had three classes in a row that don't use them. So... Maybe I was mistaken. <laughs> yeah, he's using the banana because it heals a bit better than the uh, sandwich. I may be wrong, but I should use the banana because why not? The brass beasts with a nice little wrap on it because it does hide damage. And then the fist of steel to reduce the damage getting taken from rockets and shit. Then we want to engineer. What is that? Is that unusual? Is that a Miami Knights unusual timeless topper? You're damn right it is. Now, if anyone has seen the Search and Destroy did with Pyro Joe, you'd know that... Well, I'll just let the clip play for you. Speaking of which, I'm saying 28, just off the bat. 28, let me Whoa. real quick. Are you sure? Yeah, okay, 28. Because I'm just thinking, um, we've done 8, you're on row 20 and 30, just combine them. What are you saying? Oh my. What? what what's is... happened? What's happened on 28? The, the Great Depression happened on 28. No, surely not. You got my unusual. You, no, you. on the first go. On the first one, you got it. No way. Are you, are you serious? It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's out gone. Here. It's out of here. Yes. Yes, that happened. But it's okay. Because recently, I think it was the 30th or the 31st, I was perusing this community market and I came across this. I was like, yo, that's actually pretty cheap. So I slipped it up and now I have it back. <laughs> So we're using a Strange Frontier Justice, not the best engineer gun, but it's fun to use it when you get the crits. We've got the Kappa. I just really like this gun. Definitely the the uh, Invasion update has given me some of my favourite weapons. There's the uh, Shooting Star, which I'm still yet to get. I need to get my hands on one of them. And we've got the Gunslinger for that mini sentry, you know, get some kills, get some crits, because it's easy to kill. We got the trash toter because I just think it looks cool, you know. Got some, got some trash. The yeah, obviously the unusual timeless topper, a nice little robo cosmetic as well. Very nice. Got, you, know, you can see his ears. That's kind of, that's kind of crazy though. And then the cute suit, big man NG. <laughs> He's also using a robo cosmetic. And he has the rescue ranger, the pistol, and the jag. This is just a kind of load that I just put together. I didn't know I had 34 kills with the rescue ranger, but hey, the more you know. Using the Tin 1000 the Eggheads Overall and the Level 3 Chin. I just think it's kind of cool. Like you're squashing this helmet onto like his fat head. And that, that's funny to me. And then we have my main engineer loadout. We're rocking my festive shotgun. My Lugamorph and the Gunslinger which does switch out to the Jag if I want to build level 3s. Then we're using the Legendary Dead and I, the Timeless Topper and the Gold Digger. Very cool looking boy. Oh my god it's the Uncle Dane Beard. I like the unpainted version, but I might paint it black. I, I, I don't know how that'll look, so I'll test it out on load.tf. And then this is my MVM loadout. This one hasn't changed in a couple of years. The only thing that has changed is the beard, but the general look has stayed the same. So we've got a Dead Reckoning, Dead Reckoner, my Rescue Ranger. I just used it because it's got schools on it, you know, threaten them robots. Festive Wrangler. And then the Jag. I think it's a very cool looking loadout. I wish... This is the only loadout I wish there was a fourth cosmetic slot for, because I want to have something like a like an engineer coat to go with it all. So we got the All Father, which used to be the Vikings Bradier, the genuine Pit Boy. I love this because it changes the way your um, construction PDA looks, which I think is a very cool. But I wish it was like in the slot of the construction PDA, and then I could have like a different cosmetic there. But a a o, and then we've got the Texas Tin Gallon painted ye rustic color because now it looks like a proper cowboy hat. Here we have the medic. Just, just a cool medic boy. This is the loadout we're rocking. Blood Sarger. 
strange medigun that I have not used at all. <laughs> and the Enchanted Uber Saw. I don't really use this slow that much. I should do, but I don't. So we've got the Surgical Survivalist, the Bunny Hopper's Ballistic Vest, and then a Strange Cold Front Commander. I have not used this loadout since I traded for this item, but I, I will do in the future. <laughs> this is my main medic loadout, which is exactly the same as the previous one, just has a different medigun. So we've got the Blood Surger, the Carbonado Bot Killer, which I think looks fucking sick. Look at that, shiny boy. Whoa. And a medigun, which I think is very nice, with a nice green kill streak effect. And then we've got the Unchargeable Ubersaw. Then we've got the Sur Scourge of the Sky, which I unboxed in a TF2 unboxing decides what class I play video, I think. Uh, I guess we open a blue moon case then. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Scourge of the Skies, okay. Medic time. That's actually bad. I was, I was kind of eyeing that up like, oh, that's that's looking quite good. Look at that. That looks very nice. It suits my set, actually. I'm actually going to wear that. A very cool cosmetic. I didn't know it existed until I did the unboxing, and it looks fucking sick. I did the Gucci edit, which I thought was pretty funny as well. And then we've got the Blighted Beak. Obvious medic. Ed edgy medic cosmetic. And then the Prussian Prickle Hoob to tie it all together. And I thought, you know what? We'll combine a World War One German-esque coat with a German World War One-esque helmet. Or Prussian helmet, I guess. And it looks very nice. And then the Blighted Beak ties it all together. This is my just what the fuck loadout. It used to have, a, I think it uses the vaccinator, but obviously I haven't changed it, so I'm not going to. Yeah, it looks interesting, doesn't it? Because it's just a mishmash of random shit, like the festive bone saw, the marksman, the Rowan rifleman, and the foppish physician. This was the first like, ever cosmetic I bought from the community market, because it was cheap, it was a medic coat, and I was like, yo, he'd be looking kind of fly though, and he'd be looking kind of fly though. Then here's my MVM loadout. Woo! So we got the Crusader's Crossbow, the Kritzkrieg, and the Ubersaw. Look at these blue weapons. Ah, oh, that's aesthetically pleasing. Then we've got the Vitals Vest, the Cold Front Commander, which was originally the Virus Hat. The Virus Doctor. But I didn't think it worked too well, so we picked up the Cold Front Commander. And then the Surgical Survivalist, because they're cool medic pants. <laughs> Look at him. He's ready to kill robots and heal his friends. Mostly heal his friends. Then we've got our sniper loadout. Now this is new. I got this on New Year's Eve. Very epic. Look at that. I played a game of TF2 and someone had a festive huntsman and then that just reminded me that festive huntsman is a weapon I've wanted for ages. And I finally got one and I killstreaked it as well. Because it looks cool. Villainous Violet. Then we've got our strange Gerati. Wow, I've sodden 191, 191 victims. Pretty epic. Then the tribal man's shiv with the epic 69. We've got the five month shadow. Painted grey, Abak Intellectual, and the Cobber Chameleon. This is like a an old survivalist man who was wearing his nice cardigan when he went out <laughs> into the world. This is my main sniper loadout. This hasn't changed at all, I don't think, since the last time I did this video. We've got the You're Gonna Go Far Kid, Hitman's Heatmaker, the Razorback, and then the Bushwhacker. Very nice looking. Oh yeah, it's got Killstreak on it as well. Then we've got the Down Under Duster, very cool cosmetic. The Saxton, which is nice replacement for the sniper hat. And then the Macho Man to tie it all together. He's wearing two pairs of sunglasses. What a guy. And then this is my Piss Wizard loadout. I believe I've talked about this briefly before, but I still haven't made the video where I'd be a Piss Wizard. So, we've got the High Power Piss Injector with the... Where is it? The Agonizing Emerald. Because, you know, P is green. Urine Trouble. Ale Mao. They've got the Scarcely Lethal Jurati, and then the Bushwhacker again, because I'm the Piss Wizard, it's what I do. And then they've got the Scoped Spartan, with the Airborne Attire, and the Point and Shoot. Just a nice little wizardy loadout. And then this is my MVM Sniper loadout. That's, it's just, it'd just be like that, you know? So we've got the heat man, the Heatmaker, a Festive Jurati, and then the Tribeman's Shiv. Just, you know, shoot robots if I ever played Sniper in MVM, which I never do. But if I did, this is probably what it'd look like. So we've got the Head Hedge. The Man's vs. Machine heart, Charity Heart Medal, and then the Handsome Hitman to tie it all together and make me look like some sort of soldier. I, I don't know, the, the moustache and the hat combo just kind of speak soldier to me, so I thought it looked pretty sick. And then we move on to Spy. Class, I do not play a lot, 
but it, I'm here for the ride. So we got the Observer. It speaks for itself, really. Snub Nose Revolver, the Black Rose, Cloak and Dagger, and the Red Tape Recorder. I kind of like how he's pointing to each of them as I was doing that. Then we've got the Vintage Camera Beard, the Upgrade, and the Shutterbug to create the Observer. So here's this. Here's the the second loadout. I use it a, a bit, but this used to be my main loadout, and to an extent it kind of is. But I don't play Spy a lot at all, so to have a main loadout is kind of strange. But this is my main Spy loadout. We'll be rocking the revolver, the stock revolver, the bot killer knife, Treat de Versailles, Treaty of Versailles in French, and then it had. Then it was supposed to. Uh, I was supposed to kill a bunch of medics because you know they represent the Germans who feel like they were backstabbed. By the Treaty of Versailles, I thought it was a cool little history meme. Cloak and Dagger, AP, Sap, the Lurker's Leathers, with the little turtleneck style, you know how we do. Con Head, and then the Reader's Choice as well. Kind of in the same vein as my uh, Pyro loadout, Carmen San Diego looking ass. <laughs> Where is she? So we've got the Snub Nose Revolver, the Big Urner, Cloak and Dagger, and the Festive Sapper. Now, if you haven't guessed by now, my favourite watch is the Cloak and Dagger. I try to sit invisible sometimes, it's fun, you know. We've got a hat to kill for, the wide boy, the macho man, one of my most used cosmetics, and then the blood banker, because it, it just looks kind of cool. I think it fits well with this whole loadout we've got going on. But seriously, where is she? And then we've got this thing. This is my MVM loadout. That is not supposed to be on it. Okay, so it was supposed to be a metal um, bowler hat. I can't remember the exact name, but it was supposed to be that. Uh, so I, I need to get that hat. <laughs> I used to have it, I must have sold it or something. We've got the diamond back, the spicicle, cloak and dagger, sapper, then we've got the genuine madness vs machines boundless heart, the lady killer, which is one of my favourite cosmetics, and then the marksman as well to you know tie the whole thing together. <laughs> Barely play spy as it is, so playing spy in MVM is even less likely. But yeah, those are my loadouts. I just want to showcase some taunts, some of my favourite taunts of this year. Look at that! Three unusual taunts! What a cool guy! We got Burst Chester, the Roaring Rockets. So the Burst Chester is one of my favourite taunts they've added to TF2 and I didn't unbox it. But I managed to get an unusual one after the, shortly after the Crate Depression because they were cheap. Uh, and then I got an unusual Pool Party pr quite recently actually. And it's just Max Strike, so it's Lightning Bolt Strike around it which I think is pretty decent. The unusual Flippin' Awesome which obviously I unlocked in... I unlocked the usual fire last Christmas, I believe. Let's just open this bad boy up. What are we gonna get? First case. Got a Festivizer, not bad. And... The Catcher's Companion, and... Oh my... Oh my god. Oh my god. And yeah, that's one of my favourite unusual taunts that I own. I want to give a special shout out to my charity medals. So we've got the Honeydew one, we've got the Lewis one from 2015, the 2017 Israfel and Mandrew. I didn't get the 2016 ones because I uh, couldn't donate at the time. We got the 2014 Genuine Thought That Counts. We got the Jaunty Tipper from Tipper That's 20 2019 was a great year for me donating to charity. <laughs> so we got the Jaunty Tipper, the Black Bash Supporter, the Madness vs. Machines medals, the Madness vs. Machines burnished barrel, which I think we got on Pyro MVM stream. Okay, back to the loadouts. <laughs> I mean, the, the the backpack and another Night Comp participant medal. Hell yeah! See, so yeah, that has been my TF2 loadout. What are we gonna get? What what is Scout looking at? Ah. Oh. Comment below which was your favourite of my loadouts, because I'd be interested to see what people like the look of. Let's see how it changes next year. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.